the idea of time travel has always fascinated human imagination. While opinions are divided into two groups, one is a science fiction, and the other insisting it's a mathematical possibility even if you're skeptical about movies like Back to the Future. Today's video we're about to explore the most compelling evidence suggesting that time travel might already be occurring in our present times. Now let's get started. Andrew Carlson was a self-proclaimed time travel. When an unknown Wall Street trader turned his $800 investment into $350 million in just two weeks, the SEC stepped in. Carlson executed 126 high-risk deals, all of which were profitable. Carlson was detained in 2003 and investigated by the FBI. What he had to say in his defense astounded the investigators. He claimed to be a time traveler from the year 2256. He claimed to have arrived with a time machine and offered to provide the FBI with the whereabouts of Osama bin Laden, the exact date of the Iraq invasion, and the cure for AIDS in exchange for mercy in his prosecution. He had chosen to return to this period because of the financial markets are volatile. Carlson refused to reveal the machine's location out of fear that it might fall into the hands of the wrong people and wreak total catastrophe. Carlson was released on bail after there was no evidence of his existence previous to 2002. He vanished soon after and was never seen or heard from again. This tale appeared in the Weekly World News, which was well known for being a sensational, fictional publication. However, the myth has persisted, and many people are curious about Andrew Carlson. Another mysterious case of time travel is the airfield from the future in 1935. Goddard was on his way to inspect an airfield in Edinburgh. After finishing his task, he returned to his plane. However, due to bad weather, he was forced to make a landing back at the airfield. As he approached the airstrip, an unusual event unfolded. The clouds suddenly dispersed, and the sun emerged. On the airfield, Goddard saw four yellow airplanes surrounded by mechanics. One of these planes was unfamiliar to him, even though he was a trained Air Force officer skilled at identifying aircraft models. This was a baffling experience for Goddard, and he initially thought it might be a hallucination or a mirage. His disbelief was so profound that he couldn't accept what he was witnessing. Strangely, when he returned to the same airfield four years later, he encountered the exact same scene, the four yellow planes with mechanics bustling around them. In this instance, Goddard was able to recognize the fourth plane, which he identified as a Miles Magister. This particular aircraft model had been manufactured in 1937, two years after Goddard's initial supernatural experience. The question arises, did Goddard somehow glimpse into the future during his earlier encounter? The strange and seemingly prophetic nature of his experience raises intriguing possibilities. Now what do you think? Subscribe for more.